Hello, everyone. And yes, I'm wearing my glasses because my contacts were bugging the shit out of me. These are actually new glasses. Um, I got them after I had to get actually my contact uh, prescription renewed because my old one was uh, roughly about two and a half years old. That's because I just didn't bother with contacts at that point. So I said, eh, you know what, fuck it, I'll just stick with glasses. But I you know, with the new ones and uh, they're plastic, which I actually prefer over the wired frames. So, you know, here I am. Uh, the reason I took them out was because, well, my contacts were bothering me. I guess it has to do with the fact that I'm making this toxic video over a toxic subject, over a toxic company that's owned by another toxic company, but that's besides the point. So, I wanted to kind of hold off on doing more videos about this subject, because you know me. I'm more of a let's player, I'm more of a gamer, and I don't monetize my videos, so this whole thing doesn't really directly affect me. It doesn't impact my income like some people it doesn't do all that but it does impact a lot of people that i am subscribed to it's the problem if you will so to quickly cover the topics that are uh, hold on, let me adjust this uh yoink i'm going off place like this tiniest fucking square on bandicam which i guess i couldn't afford you know to make it a little more obvious as to if my hand gestures are actually making it on screen but uh to quickly go over the subject matter that is considered advertise well, no advertiser friendly, which there's a couple of videos I need to talk about, which I don't mean to get into flame wars because that's not what I'm about. I'm not trying to get into drama. I'm not trying to get into any of that, but there are some videos I'm going to address. Anyways, content that's considered inappropriate for advertising is sexually suggestive content, including partial nudity and sexual humor. I need to reiterate my uh, views on these subjects, and that is sexually suggestive content, including personal nudity or sexual humor. Okay, if it's a bikini, for example, is that considered sexual? Is it? What about a dude in shorts where he's got no shirt on? Is that considered sexual? Well, if it's a fat dude like me, or if it's some like fucking stun muffin, where do you where where do you throw the balance then? Um, if it's a chick of, you know, a more plus-sized body value, body value, you know, a plus-sized woman versus a swimsuit model. Is that considered sexual? Is it? Is it not? What's considered sexual in that regard? Hmm? Um, uh, a girl in bra and panties versus a girl in a bikini, and they can both be fit. Which one's sexual and which one isn't? And do... Companies like Bath and Body Works get away with this. Uh, Victoria's Secret. Do they kind of get to throw their videos out there without worrying about advertiser friendly content? Or can they throw their advertisements on things that are sexually suggested content, like their product? How about Playboy? You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> when do the big companies get involved in all this shit, YouTube? And fuck, I'll stick out for PewDiePie. I'll stick out for any original YouTube content maker. Not the big companies that everybody fucking knows about. The YouTubers. From the PewDiePies to the small plebs like me. I will stick up for them all. Violence including display of serious injury and events related to violent extremism. Okay, for that example, again. Uh, the stories that Fox News covers, that CNN covers, that MSNBC covers, NBC, CBS, etc. The stories that they cover that involve violence, people throwing it inappropriately, like, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. People that throw out violent situations. Let's say, for example, Trump supporters getting violent, or uh, the rare case of Bernie supporters getting violent, or another rare case, Hillary supporters getting violent. And I will say Trump supporters, you know, getting violent, it's rare. It's only reported on when it happens, so we don't know exactly how common it is in terms of which supporters are committing the violence. So, it, you know, not to throw out the whole political schema out there, but you know what? Fuck everybody that's running for president right now. So fuck them all. That's my opinion. Fuck them all. Um, but that's for me to establish a general, or a general non bias, I should say, to suggest that, okay, so Fox covers one side, CNN covers the other, MSNBC typically will cover the CNN side. Although CNN will probably cover both sides because they want to be neutral. But, you know, I digress from that. 
but like, you know, the liberal side or the left side versus the right side. And then, you know, there's violence between various people running for president. They're very supporters and, oh, the cop violence, the black on cop violence and et cetera, et cetera. Do those like do CNN and Fox News get covered by this? Do they not? Do people like me or Repsion or whoever get covered by this? Well, chances are, I mean, Repsion, he's already been affected by this. In fact, it's been videos that have absolutely nothing to do with the criteria listed because it's YouTube laying a blanket statement. It's Google laying a blanket statement that does nothing for nobody. Again, it's a blanket policy that does nothing for nobody. To call out a name right quickly, Brady Andrea, are you paying fucking attention? Are you paying attention? Because this is what Reps this is part of what Repsion was getting at when he called you out on the video that you made about him, more or less. Or about not not specifically about him, but you included him in your video, and that is Well, let's see, you're gonna defend Boogie for making videos that support people from being affected by what we'll say violent behavior. Boogies are positive. This is true. I'm not disputing that. Boogie makes a lot of videos that help out a lot of people, and I applaud him for it. But so does Repsion. But you call Repsion out for the same thing that Boogie's doing. WTF, mate. Now, granted, Repsion and plenty of others have already gone on this subject. They've already clarified what, you know, how Red A was wrong. So I won't dive into this whole drama and thematics, if you will. But I will still point it out because it's still bullshit. Because Red A, you're better than that. You are so better than that. God, that was such a lazy video on you, and I'm so disappointed in you. And I expect better from you because you are capable of better, and you know that you are. So this isn't me hating on you. This is me saying, come on, come on, really? Come on, you're better than that. But with that being said, moving on to the next one, uh, inappropriate language, including harassment, profanity, and vulgar language, which fucks over a lot of people, including myself, on this video. But again, I don't make money off my videos because I don't care to make money off my videos. I just care to entertain people as well as entertain myself. Um, as far as my opinion on the previous video, it pretty much stays the same. It's like inappropriate language, okay. But uh, actually, you know what? I can cover this on a broad scale. I don't even have to read over the next, uh, let's see, two. And I could just say this this won't affect people like CNN, MSNBC. This won't affect uh, Fox. This won't affect uh, Ellen DeGeneres. This won't affect, you know, you know like big time, like Comedy Central stars. This won't affect big time TV celebs. Uh, rap videos, rock music videos, or just music videos in general from more popular established artists. This only affects people that actually are original YouTube creators, and that is where the problem lies. It's that this affects specific people. This isn't applied on the on the website in general. This is applied to specific people, and that is the problem that we're all having with this, myself included, because there are YouTubers that I support that are affected by this. So what is the solution? Well, YouTube needs to more specifically define how these policies are enacted. Are all the rap videos by 50 Cent and uh, Lil Wayne and all those other rappers that have sexual content and drugs in their fucking videos, are those effective? Are they not allowed to monetize their own music videos because of this? Is that what you're getting at, YouTube? Because I don't think it fucking is. I don't even know what the fuck this is supposed to be because your policies have always been two-faced. It affects one group of people, but not the others. And the majority of cases, in fact, like 99.9% .9 of them, it affects the original content creators, the ones that even put you on the fucking map. And I'm just saying, I mean, not, not just Google in general, because, I mean, Google owns YouTube, so Google is the final say, the final voice in what goes on in YouTube. So it, it could be said that, well, put YouTube on the radar, Google is now making it harder and harder for these people to do what they do to make this website so fucking great. And it's pissing a lot of people off. It really is. And I don't give a flying fuck what Buckley says or what Grade A says. They got the fucking picture wrong. They so got it wrong. Because, yes, this was a policy YouTube enacted yeah, or a fucking year ago. But it took them until this point for people to dispute it. It took them to this point in time, a random point in time, in fact, for them to be able to fight back against this. So, before everybody jumps on their high goddamn horse and says, oh, you're going after YouTube for 
things and stuff because advertisers like this. Okay, well, I will get into the whole difference between a sponsorship and an advertisement because honestly, I watched uh, Comic Book Girl 19, I believe that's her YouTube name's video. And here's a fucking shocker for all of you. The advertisements, they're fucking random. They're so fucking random. It could be a video about how cars suck. Um, I think I'm pulling this as an example from Comic, Girl, Comic Book Girl 19's uh, video that I watched, but you could pull a video that is completely anti-car. They hate all the car companies. They hate GMC, Ford, Nissan, whatever. They hate them all. But yet, a car ad will pop up right there. So, this whole that the advertisers don't want to advertise on specific things. No, that's bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. Advertisers don't give a fuck. If the video is getting views, if their ad is getting out there, they don't give a flying shit. Now, if people are being uh, sponsored by a certain group, okay, that's when you can start saying, like, well, this person or this company is sponsoring this person. Okay, some red flags can be raised there because they are directly sponsoring this person who's uploading, let's say, um, a gaming company sponsors a guy that uploads videos about how he's pro-neo-Nazi or whatever the fuck. Okay, people are not going to support that gaming company. And that gaming company is probably going to withdraw their sponsorship because, hey, they're in the money business making thing. Yes, they want to make a good product, but they also want to make money. And they can't be associated with somebody who sponsors Nazis, or sponsors Nazis, supports Nazis, or neo-Nazis, or white fascism, white fascism, or uh, white supremacy, or any of that other shit, or sexism, whatever you want to fucking call it. So, grade A and Buckley, you got it wrong. Normally, you're right. I mean, this is one of the rarest where you just kind of jumped the gun and got it wrong, but you both got it wrong. And these are only two people that I'm naming because they're the only two people that I have seen that have made disseminating arguments against what is going on because they, 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 they just got the argument wrong. They got why people are pissed off wrong. And it's not that they're bad or raw or they're all, they are wrong. It's not that they're bad or misinformed or anything like that. It's just they kind of jumped the gun a little bit. So it's just, uh, you know, uh, an approach for them to say, okay, yeah, you know what? I made a mistake because I jumped the gun in assuming things that weren't necessarily true. Now, again, Buckley or uh, a dose of Buckley and Great A Under Eight. They're both great channels. I'd still recommend you check them out because they have a lot of informed opinions about a lot of different subjects. Uh, Buckley especially, he's, he's put a lot of videos. I'm just like, yeah, I agree with you. This just happens to be one instance where I disagree with both of them because I feel like they jumped the gun. But my overall opinion on this whole thing is that YouTube, YouTube is once again making an example of itself as to how it fails to communicate to its producers, or not its producers, but its content creators. It's making it harder for people to communicate their grievances with this website. And they continue to make it hard with this type of shit. This whole fucking advertiser-friendly content guidelines BS. Which, by the way, Google came up with all on its own because they're scared of offending certain companies. They're scared of, you know, pissing off certain companies. What These companies don't give the slightest shit. As long as it's making them money, what the fucks do they have to give? Really. I mean, honestly, in this day in society, what fucking company is worried about who it's offending? Seriously. I know this whole, like, this has nothing to do with PC culture or anything like that, but a lot of people are kind of making out to be that way, which I'm kind of like, no. It, it, and this, this isn't, like, add a dose of Buckley or Brady. This is that people that kind of jumped the gun before they jumped the gun, and they jumped the gun on the wrong side of the fence. And I just said, this is some PC SJW bullshit. No, it fucking isn't. It fucking isn't. And I'm sick and fucking tired of that being an argument to counter somebody's point. Not everything is PC. Not everything is SJW. Stop throwing those fucking words around. Because the more you throw them around, the more the meaning gets fucking loosened into the fucking world. And it just loses itself entirely. It really does. What is this? This is just Google being stupid. Simple as that. This is not some SJW bullshit. This isn't Anita Sarkeesian or the Anita Sarkeesian or the feminist uh, meeting with the UN or any of that other shit. This has nothing to do with that. This has everything to do with 
YouTube and Google being fucking retarded. Now, as far as censorship goes, at best, this is censorship by proxy because certain things can't be said, therefore YouTube isn't going to allow those to be monetized. And yes, you can appeal them, and yes, as Repsion pointed out, that some videos that have absolutely nothing to do with the content listed, it, you know, it's going to get affected by it, and it's weird. Excuse me. It's weird, because it's like, how does this fucking thing work? And it works on, as H3H3 pointed out, guidelines, or not <laughs> guidelines, uh, tags, video description, and the video title itself. It affects those three things. It's what it goes for, the robot, if you will. So this isn't some PC shit, this isn't some SJW shit, and this isn't direct censorship. At best, it's censorship by proxy because it's discouraging certain videos from being uploaded because some YouTubers do rely on YouTube for their main source of income. And, you know, some, like Repsion, have said that, yeah, that was our, you know, we took the risk, we went with it. And they admit that they took the risk, and I applaud them for it because they at least admit the situation that they're in is kind of risky. So I won't blame them for it. I won't fault them for it because they admit that, yeah, okay, I took a risk and I went with it, but here I am. So why should I criticize it for them? Because they can, I mean, they admit it, so what can I criticize it for? So, you know, as far as this whole thing goes, it's like YouTube is making it harder and harder for content creators that are actually looking to make an image for themselves. Like me, I just, I, I do this for fun. This is kind of a escape from reality type of thing for me. It's not, I'm not looking to make the next, I'm not looking to be the next PewDiePie or, what have you, and oh, fuck me, I've never had any aspirations to bring that experience by because I don't even have the fucking patience for that, never mind the talent for that. And, I, I mean, if you think PewDiePie has talent or not, that's up to you, but honestly, I've, I, I've only done this just for me. Uh, well, not just for me, but, you know, for me to entertain others and for me to also be like, you know what, I'm doing something, I'm doing a hobby that has an impact on people. Maybe it's showing them how to play a game. Maybe it's showing them how not to play a game in some cases. Because I admit I'm not the best gamer out there. But, you know, these whole guidelines, it's just, god damn YouTube, you, you really screwed the pooch. You continuously reach new bars and how to screw the pooch when it comes to the people that made you what you are. And this is living at Google, which I believe Comic Girl pointed this out, or Comic Girl 19, or... I'm just going to leave a link to her fucking channel down below. But she made the astute point that YouTube has made Google zero dollars. Yeah. Google has not made a single profit off of YouTube. It's actually cost Google more than it's paid for. So maybe, you know, they shouldn't have bought it in the first place. But hey, who am I to say what's what? But, you know, this is it. Shit like this is making it harder for people like them to do their thing when, you know, there are other entities doing the exact same thing and still making money off of it. You know, CNN, rap videos, or, well, I should say rap videos, but music videos in general, TV clips, etc., etc. You know, the big mainstream uh, cable television type shit, even the HBOs and the Showtimes and the Stars channels, they're making their quick box off of this, as well as, you know, well, fuck, I mean, we got violence, including display of serious injury and events related to violent extremism, so I guess uh, Ruby can't be posted on YouTube anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, I won't say what's what, but I will say that, you know, if there is violence in there, there is a display of serious injury to animals, so I guess PETA could get offended. Um, violent extremism, yeah, I guess, because there are groups that are extremists in their views. Like, I mean, YouTube, Google, honestly, you see how stupid you're being. Uh, you know, they're probably not going to see this video. They're probably going to be like, oh, look, another video creates so something next, next. And, you know, it's so whatever. It's just me voicing my opinion about how I feel about this whole shit. Nigga. I think it's bullshit, you know. Uh, the rant that I made before, I admit, I kind of jumped the gun on a few things. And even the video I made before that, I still didn't quite get as aggressive as I'd say I probably should have. On some of these subjects, which is why I made this video to kind of like, all right, let me touch up on what I did before and say that, look, this is bullshit and here's why. And, you know, let me go ahead and point out 
Cox Communications. I have nothing against Cox Communications other than they're a shit company. Not that they're a shit company, but their service is shit. But I don't know why I kept bringing them up. I really don't. Maybe I was upset that my internet kept going in and out. That may have been the thing. But Cox Communications has absolutely nothing to do with this. They have zero nada to do with this. So I don't know why I brought them up. Maybe I was just pissed at them at the time. But they have nothing to do with this. So don't go making any videos saying like, well, Cox Communications had something to do with this. No, they, they, they had zero to do with this. They have Verizon, ATT. None of those cell companies have anything to do with this. This is just Google being stupid and just being fearful of, oh, Lordy, what if they sue us? Oh, God. That's all this is. That's all this really is. So anyway, folks, um, has your channel been affected by this? If so, I hate it for you. I really do. But, I mean, you can appeal it and... and <laughs> Uh, I think it was, yeah, it was Rebsy on that point of this out. Like, he appealed it, it got denied, but, like, three days after the appeal was denied, it's like the uh, monetization got reinstated, so I don't know how this shit works. So, again, it's just, it's a broken system. It really is. It's just a fucking broken system. So, I mean, as far as I know, you don't get strikes or anything like that against your channel. So, by all means, appeal them to your heart's content. Don't quote me on that. Do your research first before you say, all right, well, some of my videos have been, you know, demonetized. Should I appeal this? Should I do what and what? And if the appeal is denied, what are the consequences? You know, do your research. Do your research before you just take what somebody like me says or whatever. But as far as I know, it's safe to do what you need to do in order to get these uh, demonetizations removed. But, I mean, if it doesn't get removed, I would say, yeah, you're safe bet. Uh, if you're not bothering to do the research, you're safe bet. It's just say, all right, well, all right, YouTube has spoken. Google has spoken. I'm just going to back off and upload another video or upload a video later down the line. It will hopefully, you know, generate me that revenue that I hope to get from this video. That being said, I'll leave this video up. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel for a lot of the YouTube makers out there that, you know, rely on this for their income. A lot of the YouTube makers that, you know, look to entertain their audiences while at the same time, you know, trying to improve their product because, again, YouTube is making it harder for these people to improve their product because some of them rely on the income they make from their videos to improve the product that they provide. And that's why I got pissed off in the last video because I understand that there are some people that put more effort into the videos than I do that put maybe even have as much of it or have as much effort into their videos as some of the top tier guys that just they bust their asses and they make some great ass content. I mean me, I I just fucking throw web or webcam. I just throw Bandicam up, I play a game and I'll record it and I hope for the best. And if I don't like it, I fucking restart from the beginning or I redo the said video without I mean, the idea is to keep as minimal editing as possible to set videos, but there is some editing that needs to be done. And that's why I haven't blown up as big as I have, and I'm okay with that, because I understand that the amount of work I put into my videos is the effort that I receive in return. So it's totally fine with me that I don't have, you know, tens of thousands of subscribers, and I appreciate every subscriber that I do have. So, you know, with that being said, it's like, this doesn't affect me, but I will defend every YouTuber that I support to the fucking bitter end because, again, I like their content. I want their content to thrive. I want it to get better and better and greater and to achieve new heights, and I want that channel to succeed, and I want that person to succeed. So, you know, it's like YouTube. Come on now. These are the people that made you what you are. Fucking stick up for them. Stop bending over backwards for Viacom and all those other shithead companies that just throw their copyrights all over the goddamn place like it's, you know, they're fucking I was for some inappropriate there. <laughs> Namely, sexually suggestive content which would have made this video demonetized, although, granted, I'm criticizing YouTube. It's like Google would be like, oh, he talk, he dare to talk shit about this. How dare he? Fuck him. But, I mean, at this point, this video is just an endless ramble of nonsense, so. But that being said, folks, I'm going to end the video here. Tell me if you you know, just tell me what you think about this whole thing. Uh, check out some of the other videos about it, like from Philip DeFranco, uh, Repsion, uh, what's some other channels? Uh, H3H3, Boogie. Actually, and you know what? Because I called them out, check out uh, Adosa Buckley's video and Grady Andre's video about this. Um, I won't leave links down below because I can't link everything 
down below. Excuse me, down below, but, you know, check out everybody's, well, as many opinions as you feel are relevant to what you think you need to know. So, you know, check out the opposition, check out the proponents, you know, that pe people that kind of fall on the same line of the fence like me, like Repsion and uh, H2H3 and Boogie and stuff like that, as well as people that are kind of like, all right, everybody's up again, like, you know, Ray under Ray and Adosa Buckley. Not granted. <sighs> all right, um, Granted, I do like Adosa Buckley. I do like Ray under Ray. They're both great content creators. It's just this is this one point in time that I disagree with them. And, this, and the only reason I keep making that point is because I see on YouTube every goddamn fucking video criticizing their favorite YouTuber that they bust their fucking ass. They're like, oh my god, he dared to criticize my favorite YouTuber. Oh, I'm fucking raging. Wow. Stuff like that. That's the only reason I fucking say the shit that I say when it comes to like, oh, I dare to criticize their favorite YouTuber. Oh my god, whatever shall I do? But, you know, that's, that being said, folks, I'm going to end the video here. So have a great weekend, and I shall see you all for whatever video I upload next. Stay safe out there. And, uh, yeah, I was going to say don't do anything I would do, but that kind of limits you guys quite a bit. So just be safe out there, eh?